I tell you what, folks, it is good to be home. I guarantee it's been a while. Uh, you probably watched the video, I think the pizza video I did, but that was filmed like two weeks ago. So, in real time, I'm finally home. But it feels good. And I made uh, smoke some chicken up. Went ahead and shredded it, put some barbecue on there, and some onion. And I made up some potato salad here, just home style potato salad. And uh, yeah, feels good to be home. Hey man, give it up for the insane chef right here. Insane chef. Now, now today. The insane chef. All right, folks. We think we're gonna go to dinner here at the Salt and Stone on our adventure tonight. Me a steak. All right, folks, a spaceship, an alien spaceship is coming to abduct me right now, as you can see over my head. Actually, it's just the lights. So we're checking out the salt and stone again. Uh, we liked this last time we were here about six months ago when this place opened, I guess. And um, I'm really in the mood for a steak, and I didn't even cook it, so yeah. We're having a steak night in celebration of Mrs. Chef. Uh, your past birthday from last month. It's April now. <laughs> anyway, we'll show you the food when it comes. So Mrs. Chef started off with a salad. And look at that green goddess. The only thing is the cucumbers are frozen, Mrs. Chef. I'll eat them anyway. Mm. 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 This is shit. Wow. Look at that. That's a some kind of s'more something they said. With bacon on it. I mean, heck yeah, bacon. Why not? So folks, we had uh, big storms coming in last night, so we decided to go over to the casino and uh, have dinner and uh, screw off. I think I had 40 bucks or something just messing around. Anyway. Uh, dinner was expensive. It was a hundred bucks, and it was a little bit underwhelming. Uh, the salad was terrible. It's supposed to have green goddess, and they sent the dressing as guacamole. And the cucumbers looked like they'd been frozen or way past their prime. Uh, I ordered my steak uh, medium, and it came out well done. Uh, it didn't have much flavor, and then the sauce was really weird. It was like a sweet teriyaki glaze or something. Uh, not something you typically have on a ribeye steak so that was pretty funky um, uh, the dessert was very subpar very dry cake and the bacon if you're gonna put bacon on something make sure it's crispy not gooey and messing around in your mouth like that or it's just like chewy it's not it's not good and uh mrs chefs uh, they didn't even have horseradish for a prime rib i mean come on what are you doing so anyway uh, first time I went there was pretty decent. This time, not very really good at all. And I've noticed with Choctaw off properties, uh, the food quality is very, very, very hit or miss. It's either uh, edible or it's not. There's not really anything that's spectacular about any of their food. Uh, never had a meal there where I was like, man, that was like the best I ever had. Nothing like that. I mean, you, if you're going there looking for that, you're going to the wrong place. So uh, if you're eating at Choctaw, just keep that in mind. Don't expect much except for high prices. Anyway, played some machines for a while and uh, let's get back to the film. Well, folks, we got so much rain last night. Flooded the fields and everything out. And, uh, man, it was bad last night. Torrential downpours and uh, ended up popping one of my culverts out. So much these things get a uh, first really big rain of the season they get uh all this debris and stuff clogging the pipes up that's what happened with this one here so after getting up this drained out i cleared all the pipes and uh, as soon as this drains out good enough i can uh redig this one in the ground and recover it with rocks and all you can see all this debris and stuff man it was 
unbelievable range. Actually surprised it went down as much as it has. This looked like a lake in here last night. Absolute, couldn't see any ground, as far as you can see. Just had to use the memory of where the road was. Clear this one out, this is helping a lot. You can see all the debris and stuff. Clogs up the lines. But, uh, yeah, we're draining good now. That's got to follow all the way along to that creek bed down there. It's hard to describe the size of this majestic oak, but it is absolutely enormous. It's hard to tell on film just how big around this tree is. This thing right here is just massive. This thing came down. Uh, it would take a while to cut all this up, and uh, it would take some serious, uh, seriously larger equipment than what I got. I'll put my rake out here so you can just kind of see what I'm talking about. That's the rake compared to this tree. This tree is just huge. As you can see there, the water got up underneath there because these things got clogged up with limbs and stuff. And, uh, pushed that right out of there. I needed to put another fresh layer of uh, gravel up on top to keep these in place. It's a really thick layer, but every uh, few years you got to come back. Uh, probably once a year you need to come back and put another load over the top because it just washes down and all. It settles. I knew I needed to do that uh, at that time, and uh, that's what I get for it. Anyway, we put these pipes in about, probably about 10 years ago or so. And uh, last time I re-rocked them was probably two or three years ago. So it was definitely time. But man, you talk about expensive uh, rock going this far, because I gotta go, uh, this road's three quarters of a mile, gotta maintain myself, you know, it's a lot of work and a lot of uh, money. I mean, you can't, you can't believe how many rocks this is, how many loads of rocks this is to uh, do a road that far. Anyhow, you can see, uh, I'll get different loads of rocks depending on who's got what for the best price at the time. So I really don't care what they look like as long as they keep a road bed. These are the white uh, granite style rocks here. Back like there's the river rocks. And this stretch goes all the way down. Uh, but it's hard to see because it's uh, it's covered up by the grass and all. But it's a good, this is a good bed right in here. It's like concrete. You ain't going to get stuck in this stuff. It's hard as a rock, good and settled in the ground. It's just hard to see how much rock is here, but there is a lot of rock in here in this roadbed. Buried in the roadbed. So anyway, looking down my road there, you don't see all the rock, but it's there. Once you get up close, you know, you can see it down in the ground there. And of course, right up here around the gates, I have to re-rock a lot because these things get worn out because it's the only passage, you know. All right, folks, I am worn out. I did manage to get that culvert put back in, but it was a lot of work and it's hot today and it wore me out. Anyway, I thought I'd leave you with this. I've got a, a Sunday brunch coming up. And uh, this is a little bit of the photo stuff to go out to uh, the media post for that. And uh, yeah, turned out really cool. Check that out. Very cool. And uh, get your eggs deviled, folks. Anyway, 
Well, thank you for joining me today, and uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, good footage coming up this week, because we got some really cool stuff coming up. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.